Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Workout Wednesday. This week we're going to be talking about how to take custom workouts from Zwift, Training Peaks, Today's Plan, any of the platforms, and load them directly into Zwift. Oh, one second. Okay, we'll talk when I'm done. That was tough. This is, I think, one of the best features of Zwift, and that's the ability to do structured workouts directly on Zwift. A lot of people have um, a Training Peaks account or a Today's Plan account, and they might get structured training from a coach, and if those workouts are built in, then you can actually import those into Zwift and Zwift will guide you through those workouts. And actually, even if they're not built in, you can do that inside Zwift as well. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So in Training Peaks, this is what I mean when I say built in. So I've gotten a, a written section down here. This is what a lot of people might be used to. It's just typed out. But then up here, you can actually see that all of this typed out information is built into Training Peaks with percent of FTP and time and intervals and everything like that. If I do that, I can connect my Training Peaks account to Zwift and then I can load that directly into Zwift. So in order to do that, I'm gonna to go to my Zwift profile and then down here, I'm gonna say connections. And this is where we can connect everything. Um, this is where you do that, like Zwift power for anyone who's done that, Garmin, you know, everything's in here. Here's today's plan. And I actually, my coach uses today's plan. So that's how I have it set up. Um, and here's training peaks. Um, I can just say connect and then it'll connect my training peaks account. It'll say log in to allow access request for permission, basically saying, can Zwift go into your Training Peaks account and pull data? And we want them to be able to do that. So we'll say allow. That's all we have to do. Once you've connected your training accounts, whatever it is, to Zwift, everything should sync over for you. And we can just enter into Zwift. So here is my main menu and under ride type, I see training. So I'm just gonna click on training. Here's my today's plan custom work, that stuff from my coach, but here's that Training Peaks custom work that we just connected. So if I open that up, there's my Ironman Endurance workout. Here's the information that was typed out in that workout. And then here is the workout actually built in. So whatever is down here, that's what Zwift is gonna show you on the screen. That's the information that you're gonna get as you're riding along. If you don't have a Training Peaks account or your workouts don't come you know, pre-built and you don't want to build them in your program, you can actually just build them right in Zwift. You could just, again, go to that training and then down here at the bottom, I don't know why they have to make it so small, but down here at the bottom, it says, or create your own. You can click on that and then it gives you helpful guides right on the screen. We could throw a warm up in here. It's automatically 10 minutes with, this is my ending power. That's a little high, let's say 200. You know, and then maybe I want to do some one minute on, five minute off. We'll do one minute at, we'll say, 300 and then 170. Sure. So you can see I'm just building it out. And then maybe I want to do a long, let's say, 30 minutes of zone two. So, and you just piece it all together right in here. And then when you're done, let's throw a cool down in there at the end. Cool down at the end. We'll just say save, and then right under here, custom workout, click on it, and I could do that right in Zwift. Super simple. And that's it, that's how you get custom workouts into Zwift. Like I said, I think this is one of the best features in Zwift. I know a lot of people do group workouts in Zwift, so they know that you can do the like workouts that are already there, but not as many people know that you can actually import your own, or if there's something directly from a coach, you can import that as well. And at least for me, when I found this feature for those long winter miles or those workouts that are just overly complicated, this has been a lifesaver. That helps you as much as it helps me. If it did help, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and we will see you this coming Friday for our Faster on Friday video about bike chains and how much time you can save over 70.3 just by doing a little bit of work to your bike chain. We'll see you on Friday. Bye.